Turn three. Soviets have uh, kicked off and, in fact, uh, mostly completed their turn. The... Hmm, let's see, it's the best way to explain this. Uh, it's bad weather, so we have uh, precipitation. We have a night, basically a night turn. It's a 2400 uh, rolling forward through uh, the eight hours forward. And uh, we have the Soviets who, you know, trying to follow their doctrine, have uh, attacked aggressively here. Uh, at uh, at pretty high cost, and in fact, we saw the elimination of two full battalions of uh, Soviet forces uh, this turn, uh, partially as a result of the combat uh, from uh, the end of turn two from the, from the U.S. forces uh, counterattack, which was very successful. Uh, that was uh, these two uh, uh, battal actually these two battalions here attacking here and here. And uh, this battalion actually advanced all the way down the highway, two two miles down the highway, and then uh, and uh, in two overruns, and then rolled back. And then the Soviets uh, continued with their mission, which is to uh, execute down along E4 by the looks of it. And so they uh, they piled in here with uh, a total of three regiments, one of which uh, was depleted and reduced uh, to a pretty weak state, but attacked nevertheless against uh, the hasty attack formed. I think that's the 469th uh, tank battalion there. And uh, a reduced, even a reduced uh, battalion attacking uh, uh, in something in hasty attack formation is still going to have a tough time with uh, the defense value of that uh, that unit. Now, I can't lift it up and show you because I've got the perspex over the top so I can lay down uh, coverage so you can't see the rest of the map. Uh, nevertheless, that uh, wrapped up killing off one unit and then another unit uh, attacked here that only had five steps and then lost f uh, lost five steps in the attack and then these these guys up here took two step two step losses as well uh, unfortunately the uh, this uh, mechanized battalion here for the US actually did take a, a couple of step losses and uh, took a bit of a beating this turn but uh, even with uh, a follow-on attacks uh, because you know what you do here is you move a unit, go through the exercise of its combats and then moving if it gets has an opportunity to move again you, you finish all the attacks for that unit and then you bring the next guy in so i was able to administratively move around through the woods and attack here again with a fresh battalion but unfortunately here after two attacks i still was not able to to uh, break this unit down uh, i was in fact had to abort the attack in the second instance uh, which is very expensive for the soviets so the americans are in a good job here what has happened in the meantime though is the rest of these units uh seventh uh, guard tank have started to move this what appears to me either this way or this way uh, so they've pressed up, uh, uh, you know, uh, a full a full regiment and some uh, supporting units to begin pressing the attack along this axis here. Uh, fortunately, the second uh, brigade has moved into position, and they're probably just there in a nick of time. All good timing for you guys. And we, uh, in the grand plan of things, uh, we were to move this brigade in uh, and position for a counterattack next turn and what i decided to do was a, a probably smart i guess for the americans and that's hold them back one sector and position them to uh, conduct uh, a counterattack uh, they'll be in they're in tactical mode so they'll receive no penalties but no bo no benefit either for any attacks they do conduct and uh, and and prep them up uh, to uh, to uh, ta attack the, uh, the the Soviets in a little bit. By being back here, uh, what we're hoping is that the Soviets won't find them, which they did not uh, find this turn because the Soviets did not search here, uh, nor did they search here. What the Soviets did do is search one, two, three. Uh, and, all, and a little bit further up, uh, they searched up here as well. Uh, so they were, they're searching a, a fairly broad pattern. Uh, it's information you don't need to know, but it's information I'm giving. Excuse me, I'm giving you, my goodness. And so uh, that 
That means that uh, the forces of evil are accumulating their op intelligence level, but they are not searching as many sectors. So they're trying to focus in mainly on where they're attacking. And at the moment, I guess this means that this is probably not as big a priority, this area. So these units have remained undetected for the time being. And I just hacked a counter really badly. Fortunately, it's a, it's a blank, but that was pretty awful. Let's just toss that guy in the trash. I guess we can't do that. If we sell it, then it will not be complete, will it? <clears throat> All right. That's what's going on. Soviets have moved. Finished movement. Uh, we've got to do the cleanup phase. I've got to pull a few interdiction bits and pieces off here and there. And uh, there are a few little things that are uh, uh, loose here that I, I don't seem to find any definition for. What time the scenario starts, what season it is that the scenarios are actually taking place in, and uh, also uh, some little things about when inter interdiction markers come off and things like that. So uh, anyway, that's the status for the time being. Good job so far by the US. Only a third of the way through the scenario and who knows what will happen next. I'll be posting polls up soon.